Okay guys, next step is the piston rings. And usually you're gonna have uh, all the piston rings for one piston in one of these boxes. You just make sure to, to open it. Just make sure you manage to open it. Then you're gonna have a little flyer, which is exactly like this. And this one's gonna tell you uh, how to how to properly install most of them and how to differentiate uh, the two of them. I mean the two of them. Uh, you just have to differentiate two, which one is the top and which one is the second. And here you go, here's all the all the piston rings that you're gonna have in the box this is for uh, the oil scraper this is the top one the the very shiny one this is for uh, the, the top ring this one is the bottom ring this one is uh, this is more like a, a black finish and also the two scraper which goes on the top and on the bottom of the oil scraper all right so let's just put it back in there next thing here is the feeler gauge um i bought it from autozone uh 25025 is the is the code for the for the tool and uh the the reason i picked it is because it has these uh really fine measurements and that's what we're gonna need I already installed the uh, the second piston ring into the into the engine, and uh, the second one I'm going to set to 22. So uh, usually, this is the. So usually on the feeler gauge you have the numbers over here. So this is what we're aiming for: 0, 22. So let's see if we're gonna stick it in between the the gap. It's gonna have a little drag. There you go. It goes in, but you can feel it that there's a, a it's catching it a little, not a lot, just just a little. So that's how you know this one is is properly set. So we don't have to touch it. You can just remove it. it's somewhere safe now the first one the shiny one of course here's the number it's gonna focus you have the numbers over there that's gonna be the the face up to put it in you have to compress it a little like this and then tilt it Push it in there. Now you're gonna take the old piston or the new piston and just push it down evenly so it's gonna sit flush. And to do that, if you if you remove the first uh, oil ring and leave the second one in, it's gonna be perfectly even if you push it down. All right. Now we're gonna take the feeler gauge again, and now we're gonna make sure. Um, first, we have to measure how much uh, uh, gap we have in there, and then uh, take it out and start using the grinding wheel. And usually, just uh, keep using in one direction. And most of the time, it's better if you if you put the ring like this. Make sure that it sits perfectly flush. And then you're gonna start, I'm not gonna start uh, grinding. So you're gonna start uh, uh, the backward motion. You start grinding uh, backwards towards you. And the reason for that is the wheel is gonna start grinding in, in a better, um, 
in a better rotation like backwards and it's not gonna leave any um any rough edge on the outside it's gonna be more like on the on the inside of the ring so maybe maybe you're gonna do it differently and you're gonna go uh, onwards that's perfectly fine as well but make sure when you are done with the grinding and when you make sure that the the filler gauge is showing you the right uh the right numbers before you install it you're gonna you're gonna use a little filer and you're gonna make sure that the edges are perfectly uh fine you don't have to go too crazy i'm gonna show it to you i'm just telling you beforehand all right so we're gonna start checking with the filler gauge this was 22 of course it's too big as you can see the as you can tell the gap is very small let's go with 11 let's go with 11 and look lo looks like it's it's 11 to 12 the gap and we need the 19 so we're gonna start grinding all right, let's remove it. <clears throat> Here you go. Make sure that the number is facing up. You're going to put it in there. Make sure that the, the side of the ring is perfectly flush with the wheel. Not like this. Not like this. Not like that. Make sure it is perfectly flush. You don't have to really push it like real crazy. Just make sure that it has a contact and you're going to start grinding. Now you measure again. Still 11. So we have to go more crazier. If you started doing on one side, stick with that side. Don't just go between the, the two sides. Just stick with one side. And um, looks like the way it's it's much easier with the machine if you if you grind it uh, uh, clockwise. That's the only way. All right, let's check. Now it's 13. So it looks like we went up two sizes. That's why you have to go slow. Let's check out um, with 18. Looks like goes in the right way. So we still have to go a little more to to touch 19 because that's the that's the gap we want. Let's try 19. Yeah, we need just a little more. As you can see, it can go It can barely go to the middle and we need to go until we hit the wall all right a little more And now the last part is to use a filer and just make sure that you barely 
You barely file it. <clears throat> Perfect. So basically that's all you have to do uh, when you're grinding the piston rings. Just make sure that you're uh, measuring a lot of times before just over grind it the first time. Uh, it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take uh, between 5 to 10 minutes, it depends on your, um, your end gap uh, specifics. Uh, mine was just uh, 19 and 22 and uh, the second ring was pretty easy because uh, it already it is pretty close, it's around 20. Um, the first one took kind of forever, more like 10 minutes to file the, the right gap, but, and also um, I put it in, take it out more than probably 10 times. So just take your time and make sure to file, you know, just the edges, just a tiny bit. Uh, you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to make it uh, round or anything. Just uh, take off the edge, the sharp edge, and uh, basically that's it. The next step is I'm going to do the rest of the piston rings and once I'm done with that I'm going to assemble the pistons with the rods. Um, I'm probably not going to measure the rod bearings. Uh, I mean kind of should because I have the, the measuring tools. I just don't have the, the grip wise or any vise so I cannot really um, just play with the rod bolts. So, uh, but since I already measured the crank and uh, all the and all the numbers are are matching, uh, I believe I don't have to um, I don't have to measure the the rods itself because uh, it's uh, it's brand new. The bearings are brand new, uh, specific for for. Um, the size is the same as the crank, so I just should slap it on. Here you go guys, I managed to finish uh, to file all of them. I also uh, uh, noted which one is the first cylinder, second, third and fourth, and the D represents that it's done. Okay, let me put it over here. So the next thing is installing the new pistons. Here you go, I already uh, numbered the uh, pistons as well. The wrist pin. Also the, the other pins. <clears throat> 